<laughs> well, look at the back of the Buick now. Where's the smoke coming from? A tire! <laughs> yeah, that car keeps on dying. <laughs> <laughs> That car's just falling apart. Alright, here we go. Two cars getting fucked over. One's running. I don't know why. Well, Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear, top automotive television show in the UK, you can kiss my redneck ass. You think crushing and playing with and tenderizing and babying a Toyota Hilux truck was tough on it? You ain't seen nothing till you've seen Dave's Farm. Here we have your average 1992 Buick Regal. The shit pounded out of it by a Saturn plastic car and all thought it was dead. And then without even a bonnet on, driven over by a 20-ton bulldozer with All-American Power, 1953 International. Not just once, but twice. And the only damage sustained to the drivetrain was the fuel pump. Now since we have no fuel pump and a crushed gas tank, the only modification I made to this destroyed vehicle is what I call a redneck gas tank system. All I did was add a couple of wires, run it to the tank from the electrical system, ran a couple of tubes to the input system on the fuel injection, and the only repair to this awesome 3.8 is a typical redneck repair, a piece of duct tape over a hole broken through by the 20 tons of weight on that intake manifold. All else remains as it was. Crushed rocker cover and bent rocker, slightly damaged coil pack, almost severed ignition wires, busted over electrical system, crushed hydraulic pump for the power steering, and of course crushed everything else. The only other thing I did was change the flat tire that was blown out in the smash up derby. So now let's see if this awesome example of American muscle and strength can stand up to anything a Toyota's ever had and start. The new entrance. Look at all those redneck diamonds. I did have to move a bit of glass to get at the steering column. Of course the gear shifter's busted. The radio's broke. Still got no bonnet. Let's see what's gonna happen. Redneck fuel system's working. like that. Oh my god. You can't kill a 3.8. Now I'll have to put it in drive to see if it can move. Shut her down. Ugh. Gear shifter's busted, we'll have to put her in drive. Since the gear shifter's busted, we'll have to put her in drive. 
There we go. Now let's see if a Buick can drive after all that. Ugh. Plant my ass securely. Sit down and prepare for the ride. Well, it's trying to move. The only problem is our ass end is pressing to the ground. After a little help from my tow truck, we've got the Buick back to the repair shop. Now I can cut open the roof that's crushed in and make a driver's compartment so we can drive this son of a bitch. Well, since Todd's family from Minneapolis, Minnesota loves Buicks, this part is for you. Now we have to cut the roof pillars off and make room for a driving compartment. That worked real good. Let's check her out. Well, the only problem now is just a little glass in my ass. I can fix that. <laughs> Tilt steering sure is tilted. Cool. Vehicle is still unmodified. Ripped the roof off. Got my redneck gas tank system in the passenger seat and vacuumed off the driver's seat. Didn't want no glass in my ass. One thing I did do was I broke some plastic away from around the shifter so at least my gear shifter still worked. That's necessary to drive. The most destroyed car in the world that has ever driven before, I hope. I dedicate this Buick video to my stolen son, Andrew Van Beest of Calgary, age nine. I hope to find you again so I can be your father someday. My name is David Rock. Please contact me. Now let's get on to business. Let's see if this thing is going to roll. Here we go. I don't even know if my legs are going to fit in there yet. Holy. Well, with great difficulty, I'm in. The stream wheel's rubbing on my leg hard. Throttle's working. So, let's see if this pig will fire up. The gauges says, we got problems. <laughs> let's do it. Shifter's working. Fuel pump's working. Whoa! We got reverse. She's a mover!
You gotta love your Buick. 3.8 all the way. Sorry, I couldn't film all the all of the interior shot with no power steering, a high revving throttle, a bent steering wheel rubbing hard on my legs. I had to use two hands. Well, anyways. It was totally successful. So, the most destroyed and abused car in the history of the world that still drove is not a Toyota, it's a Buick 3.8. Oh, so Jeremy Clarkson and Top Gear, beat that. I challenge you. Day's farm rules. <laughs> no beers were harmed in the production of this video.